Hey guys, in this video I'm wearing hair thickening fibers from GoFiber, so if you want to try them out, visit GoFiber.com, get a free sample of your choice and see if you like them. Hey, what is going on everybody? Matt here and in this video we are going to be talking about three main reasons why many men still struggle to experience good benefits with using minoxidil 5% or Rogaine for their hair loss prevention for strengthening their hair. Now, if you are somebody who is experiencing hair loss, maybe doesn't know whether you should go on minoxidil or not, you should watch this video because this is going to summarize all the reasons why many guys like you are not able to experience enough benefits from minoxidil or Rogaine for satisfactory or successful hair loss management, okay? Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Matt and you are watching my hair loss and hair transplant related channel where it's basically all about me helping you out finding a reliable hair transplant doctor, educating you about hair transplants and also discussing a whole bunch of useful hair loss preventative treatments. Now, many of you guys who have already booked a one-on-one -on -one call with me where I like to help out guys find a reliable hair transplant doctors and recommend them reliable doctors worldwide, assist them during the hair transplant research, you know that I also like to ask you how you have been able or unable to manage your hair loss throughout the years. What are the types of medications that worked for you and what are the types that didn't? And minoxidil is often, or Rogaine, is often the topic that is being discussed quite a lot. This video is going to be based on many, many stories of guys I've already talked to who have been using minoxidil for longer or shorter time and why they kind of uh, failed to experience satisfactory benefits in terms of, of hair loss management. The reason number one why guys are unable to get to this point where they can successfully manage their hair loss with minoxidil is that they stop using it already during the first couple of months because they think they, they're losing more hair as they used to before minoxidil and they think it's not normal and they stop, they freak out. This is not good and if you are buying minoxidil, uh, it, you should know that, you should be educated about that, that the hair loss will come. It is minoxidil induced hair loss, which is triggered by the minoxidil uh, itself and it will only last for the first couple months like first two three months after using minoxidil and then it will stop and then the new hair will grow okay so first you will have to overcome the first three months and then you can start observing uh, how minoxidil uh, works for you if it's working or not but the first three months are irrelevant the hair will fall out so you should not stress about that you shouldn't freak out and you should accept that and just keep using minoxidil minoxidil is just kind of getting rid of the weak of the thinning vellus hair which has to fall out in order for minoxidil to induce new hair growth or trigger new hair growth so the hair can start growing thicker and stronger. The reason number two why many guys are unable to successfully manage their hair loss with Rogaine or minoxidil 5% is that they fail to be consistent with it. As you know, minoxidil should be applied twice a day. Some of the guys start applying it regularly in the morning, in the evening, for the first couple months, maybe even years, but then they maybe start experiencing some dry scalp, itchiness, they will uh, decide to do it only once a day, they will, you know, get annoyed, maybe they will leave out some days, they will not be as consistent, you know, they will uh, have more and more things to do in their life, so there is not going to be enough, you know, space for this consistent habit anymore and they just stop applying it as regularly as in the beginning and long term they will just notice that they were not able to manage their hair loss successfully with it. Now if you watch this video maybe you have never tried minoxidil and you see your you don't see yourself as uh, this committed guy who could just apply minoxidil topical twice a day in the morning in the evening or somebody who's very busy who gets annoyed by you know massaging something into his scalp twice every day no this is not for you okay minoxidil is not for you you will slowly use minoxidil only on like every other day only once a day and you will see that the hair loss will start to increase again because your hair kind of got addicted to minoxidil uh, because it's a stimulant at the end and 
once the hair follicles will not get a regular supply of minoxidil, uh, they will start to lose the thickness, the strength, and you will see like increased hair loss. And also you can freak out. And this is something you don't want. So if you want to get on minoxidil, do it the right way. Okay. Otherwise, don't even consider it. Just start with other hair loss preventative treatment. Okay. Uh, but not minoxidil. It's not going to be for you. Third reason why many of the guys are unable to successfully manage their hair loss with minoxidil is that we shouldn't forget that minoxidil is just a topical stimulant. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't block DHT. Many of you are not on any uh, DHT blocking treatment, let's call it this way, topical or oral. You're not using finasteride, that's usually a big one. If you guys are on minoxidil, you think it is enough, but it's not because you are not blocking your DHT internally or topically. So if you are only using minoxidil, assuming you are doing it right, you are consistent, you are doing it twice a day, uh, all great, but maybe you are also adding derma roller to your routine, but that's also in many many cases, unfortunately, not going to be enough because your DHT is very aggressive. Okay. Your androgen receptors of the hair follicles on your scalp are so sensitive to the DHT that they are just going to miniaturize anyways, no matter how many times or how consistent you are with minoxidil. So this is also the reason number three, why many guys kind of uh, are failing uh, to experience uh, good benefits from minoxidil usage. Uh, despite, uh, you know, doing all the things right, being consistent and, uh, you know, applying it twice a day. So uh, sometimes your hair loss is too aggressive. And if you are not blocking your DHT in any way, then by using minoxidil only will also not help. And for all you guys who are new to this channel, I can offer you my free ebook, Five Things I Wished I Had Known Before My Hair Transplant, which you can download for free. For all you guys who are already seriously considering hair transplant, I highly suggest you to just skip that free ebook completely and apply for a consultation with me right away, where I'm basically gonna help you directly and assist you with finding a reliable hair transplant doctor. I'm going to provide you some recommendations, very useful ones where you should start your research. And these are going to be also the doctors you should consider for your hair transplant. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a step-by-step -step help from me. Consider it as a mentoring. Okay. Until we find a good doctor for you. Now, that would be it for this video, guys. Let me know how you enjoyed it. If you want to uh, me to make more videos on this topic, but I'm sure many of you guys have already experienced minoxidil and uh, how it's working. So I'm sure there are going to be plenty of comments and feedback on minoxidil, <coughs> positive or negative, and we'll see each other in the next video. Take care.